Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Grim Fandango. I'm D. Rod Jenkins, and when we last left off, we finally made it to the town of Rubicava, and we were talking to our buddy Celso here, who said he hadn't seen Meche come through, and he pays close attention to who comes and goes in Rubicava. Totally forgot the city name. Who comes and goes in Rubicava because he's looking for his wife, which is all clues. Now, the only other place we can go is over here in the fog, and he'll sort of walk that way. Uh, ooh. Uh, Oop. Uh, on, buddy. Uh, and he dies. No, no, he doesn't. Yeah, tourists. <laughs> now this guy, he's probably my second favorite character of all time. You gotta watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Uh, well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. And... Give him a minute. He goes back up. So this guy is Velasco, I think his name is? It's been a while, so I've forgotten, but I'm well, pretty sure it's Well, actually, it's mostly so. stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? And then they just kind of mime talking for a while. Uh, so let's do this. There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha <laughs> 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 that's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks going to stay in Rubicava for a spell? Yes, we are. We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, <laughs> like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks. But it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> all this is kind of precursors to stuff that is going to happen. Not to give anything away there, but I totally did. How do you get around here with all the mist? Uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn, by the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well... When I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Now, if you remember earlier, Celso gave us a picture of his wife right there. Do we have anything else? Nope, just the picture of his wife right there. And you can give it to this guy. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here two weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two, and she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny. We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name, but don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. Now, the SS La Mancha will come back into the story. So that's yet another clue. Velasco is just filled with all sorts of pretense, foreshadowing clues. I think you can do this. 
I think I'll wait for the fog to clear before I try exploring town again. <laughs> and it will clear later on. So this is probably going to be a short video, because once I'm done with this, it'll go to the next uh, chapter, basically. I guess you could call it next year, next chapter, whatever. And, yeah, we'll just keep it short. But before I do, see if I can explore this place, because I think there are a few things you can look at. All these doors have numbers and pictures of food on them. What's number 22? Lengua. Wow. It's been a long time since I had a tongue. Yeah, and that's a precursor. Or a clue for earlier stuff. 22 Langua. Which is fun. I don't think you could do anything else. I kind of wanted to do something to make this a little bit worthwhile. Maybe you can say something more to him. Are you sure I can't sleep in the back? There's only room for one. <laughs> Good to see one of my clients doing well. <laughs> okay. So, we give him the book. Velasco's logbook says Celso's wife took a bunk with a hunk. <laughs> nice. I wonder if you could just read this. I can't throw away Velasco's logbook. Okay. So you can't. What we can do is give him this book, and once we give him the book, it will start a very long video, and we get to go into the next chapter. So I'm going to do that. Celso, your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny. Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too! gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. And thus concludes year one. And when we get back, we will uh, begin year two. So I will see you guys next time.